Howdy guys, and welcome to another Warframe review on Tatiana. I probably said that wrong. The pixie frame, or the fairy frame, which I personally like to call her. And oh my god, is this frame so good. She's so much fun to play as, like... Ah, uh, okay. So... Just to show off, this is the color palette that I w that my, uh, my my sister picked out. She likes to design colors, which it looks actually really nice because the gold actually looks like gold on her outfit. Titiana has another helmet, which is this helmet right here. Which it it both her helmets actually I kind of like. This one's more smooth. This one's more pixie or fairy. Uh, these are her default colors. Her other noble stance is this. I actually don't know what this one looks like. Hold on. Let me, uh... Eh. Okay. It's doing a thing. But flies are flying around me. I want to see what her animation is really quick. Fine, Tatiana. Do the animation. Okay. That, that was neat, I guess. Uh, ba -doop. Put that back on. This is the build I'm going to be using for her. And this is a not former build, just the Catalyst and um, Steel Charge, which is one, probably one of the best ore mods for getting extra ore slots, because it gives you a lot. Uh, with Prime Flow, Steam Line, Fling Expertise, or Expressions, um, Rage, Rush, because I didn't know what, to, what else to put on her, Intense Intensity, that's Phi, Vigor, and Continuity. Yeah. So, that's my build. Here are her abilities, and I'm not going to try to explain her abilities. I'm just kind of going to show for yourself. And you can see from the possibility down, that, there, down there, it mainly helps out bullet jump, which is amazing for getting around and maneuverability. I'm going to be using the Dread, which her Razor Wing, which is her final ability, her weapons scale off of her primary weapons, and her melee weapon in Arcwing scales off of her melee weapon. So I'm going to be using the Nakana. I'm sorry, Goblin, but I'm going to have to leave you here for just for the review. So we're going to go somewhere. Where are we going to go? Uh, oh man, I was not uh, properly prepared for this. I'm going to do that, and we're going to the Void. Uh, a quick uh, exterminate sounds nice, doesn't it? Defense, capture mission, mobile defense, sabotage, survival, capture, exterminate. There you are. Uh, that took forever. This is why we call this Warframe unprofessional reviews. Because they're very, very unprofessional. Because I'm very, very limited on my, uh, my, um, my resources, I guess you could say. My ability is to manipulate my uh, my videos. I'm very limited when it comes to that. So, Titiana. She floats. She looks cool. And she's also cool. So, her first ability does this. Spellbound. Spellbird. I don't actually know what the buff is. So, yeah. I need to pay more attention to the actual uh, things. But it's doing something. Her square, which is second ability, will do that and give you a buff. This buff is not exactly random. And, well, I have no idea what the buffs are because there are so many of them. Like, you have no idea how many there are. And then, this is her third ability, which suspends an enemy in the air, which attracts other enemies to it. When they close enough, they'll take damage, and then when reactivated, they explode. Yeah, and for her final ability, Razor Wing, the Dex Pixia, and not gonna try to say that, but you know, this 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 thing is just so much fun. Just ah, uh, it's beautiful. It's so much fun to play around as, and it's just it's super entertaining as well. I mean, like, especially if you like Arcwing. I, I know that some people probably get disoriented, understandable, um, from Arcwing, because Arcwing is Arcwing, and dear god, I'm happy they changed the update in Silver Grove, because 
Titiana with the old way the arc winged worked. Oh man, that would have been the most disorienting thing ever. You can also still use her other abilities while in arc wing, of course. It just, you know, takes some energy, which if you like using, uh, you know, it a lot, then I don't really recommend doing that. But, you know, go ahead if you like to. Because also have fun looking up what the buffs do, because there's a lot of them. And I don't know what any of them do. I haven't decided to go look it up. So, you know, yeah. Do, 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 do. I don't, from, from what I know, uh, Titiana does not have any augments yet. Uh, she's obtained from hitting, I believe, Mastery Rank 6. You have to hit Mastery Rank 6 because I know this from personal experience. Not from personal experience, a friend of mine. A couple friends, actually. Um, and you have to be Mastery Rank 6 and you have to talk to New Loco when you hit Mastery Rank 6. And then you have to complete the Silver Grove questline. Where you have to complete that by collecting various plants. These various plants, the only one that's hard to get is the uh, Moonlight Dragonflies, which only come out at night, which I ran, I was, I don't know what happened there, honestly. I was kicked out of my thing. Um, but you get it from New Loco, you have to collect plants, and the uh, Moonlight uh, Dragonflies are some of the hardest things to come across, because, well, they're just hard to come across. Otherwise than that, it's actually a fairly easy quest line for a really good frame. So, yeah, I, honestly, for my, for me, from personal sake, I can't recommend Titian enough. She is so much fun to do. And I, I should have bought the, those uh, things that allow me to go in um, uh, third person. And look at myself. So you can see me when I'm all, uh, well, I'm all tiny and adorable. Where is this dude? Is he over here? Yeah, he's over here. Uh, the Razor Wing sends out little butterfly drones that you can see if you look on the ability and how many is out. There are so far only four out because one of them died. And they will go around attacking um, enemies just completely randomly. And, you know, it helps. It really does. It's useful. It, it's just, it distracts them, which is very good because, oof. Distracting them is extremely useful when you're in massive fights or in the infested Then you know, you can keep them off of the uh, your objective Which just makes it easier on uh, On uh, everybody in your game. It, it really does and Yeah, I don't think there's much not much else to say really other than Titiana is a fantastic and super front fun play blah blah super fun frame to use and if you enjoy arcwing then you'll just you'll fall in love with this frame extremely quick she's also extremely fast as well i've noticed that uh i should probably show off her passive shouldn't i i've done that yet but basically this does this if you bullet jump this will leave a pool on the ground which is this blue uh, sparkly where one teammates walk through it it i believe it buffs them and increases their bu uh, their uh, um, bullet jump, which you know it's pretty useful for getting around. If I do say so myself, and I say so, so there's uh not much I can really say there. But yeah, um, and if you have a volt, dear God, are you fast? If you have a volt with you. Or any, really any Warframe that buffs your speed when you have a Rush mod on, like I do, which I usually never put Rush mod on because I think it's a over-expensive mod for just for increasing your sprint speed. And then when you put it on, when you like buff it with bolts, uh, you're going so fast. It's unbelievably fast. So, yeah, but yeah, otherwise not, there's not much else I can, uh, I can really say. I'm gonna kill this guy, and check this out. They added a couple new emotes, but I don't know how many of you know this. You can do emotes as tight, small Titiana, and you just float there. And then when you pop back in, you just fall a little bit. Yeah, 
I don't actually know how many people knows that. It was just just flying around, and I said, "What what would happen if I use my emotes?" And then I emoted, and then I just sat down in the air, and I was like, "Oh, that's adorable." Uh, this room is also a very adorable, in my opinion. Um, the handshake gesture, on the other hand, if you handshake, you'll go from small big to small. You'll transform into big when you're initiating it, and then you'll transform back into small um, when the animation is done with. So, you know, yeah. So I'll give you guys a final look at the abilities, and then, you know, yeah. So, there it is. So, the first one. I said weapons. Oh, okay, so nearby allies become immune to status effects. Wow, that is incredibly useful. Huh. Alright. Well, I know what that does now. Hmm. So, yeah, anyways, that was a quick overview of, um... Not, not quick, I'm sorry. An unprofessional overview of, um... Of Titiana. Probably one of my on more channel. liked frames. She's so much fun to play as. And just... She's so entertaining, basically. She kept me busy all day today, leveling her up. And I, I never got tired of her. I didn't really get bored. Doing missions felt fun and fast-paced and all that. But, yeah. So, if you guys like this video, then I'm happy that you like something of mine. Putting a smile on your face puts a smile on my face. So, yeah. I'll see all you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.